You're tuned to the Peter Mac Experience exclusively on Spreaker.com. Hello, this is Callum Bornellis with Nationwide Insurance, the Bornellis Insurance Agency. You are now listening to Peter Mac and you're inside the Peter Mac Experience. Hey, let me say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on where you are tuning in to the Peter Mac Experience. Today I have another special guest passing through, talking about Pastor Shay Cross. We're going to be getting to know more about Pastor Shay, and also listen to some of her beautiful music, four songs to be exact. And I tell you, I'm sure you're going to want to uh, have her at your place of worship after getting to know more about her and uh, listening to these dynamic gospel music. Let me give you some information about Pastor Shea Cross. If you want uh, to book her for any event, then all you need to do, you can access her on the internet or you can give her a call. You can send her an email at Ministries at gmail.com. That's Pastor S-H-A Ministries at gmail.com. Or you can call her at 678-913-9496 or 678-900-9928. You can request a copy of her new hit single, Yes, I Made It. And I tell you, trust me, you're going to be blessed over and over again. Got to let you know that uh, Pastor Shea is a member of the Christ Cares Ministries, which is located at 4815 Courtney Drive, Forest Park in Georgia. So that's uh, some information that I will be repeating at the end of the show today. What a show it's going to be. I want to thank you again for being a part of the Peter Mac experience as we listen to another dynamic gospel artist and get to know more about Pastor Shea. Enough talking. Let's move it into the music right here inside the Peter Mac Experience. Lord, fill this place so that your glory can unfold. Lord, fill this place so that your joy can be shown. We need a healing in this very room. We need a healing in this very room. Lord, fill this place so that your peace can be made. My first question to you is, why the ministry? Why sing for the Lord when it would appear as if you can make more money in the secular world as a singer? Obviously, you are talented. And uh, one would wonder, why is it that you would go gospel when it would appear as if people do not really make money in the gospel arena? Uh, 
But when it comes to a secular singer, you can see the kind of money that this individual can make. Tell me your testimony. Why is it that you choose to do gospel? First of all, I would like to say thank you for having me on your show here at the PD Mac Experience radio show. Also, I would like to say thank you to uh, Live V, which is another gospel artist here in Atlanta, Georgia, who connected us together. So I just want to say publicly thank you for uh, the connection. To me, gospel music is awesome to be able to say that you minister not just another song, but to be able to sing prophetically, to be able to be a mouthpiece for the Lord, to uh, let people know that there is still hope in a dying situation, that there's still light in a dark situation. Gospel music gives me the ability to minister and to promote Jesus all day. Also, with that being said, there's nothing too hard that Jesus cannot do. So when you say gospel music versus secular music, um, seems as though it would be more money in the secular music or the secular industry, I have to beg the difference simply because there's a benefit to singing gospel music. You're able to reach a life. You're able to save a soul. You're able to let people know that, in your sickness, that Jesus is the divine supreme healer. There's nothing too hard for God that he cannot and will not do in your life if you allow him the opportunity to come into your heart. So, yes, it may seem as though uh, there's the money is there when it comes to secular music or whatnot, but all that material stuff, you can't even take it with you. But there's an assurance and there is a promise that the Lord has made with us that if we continue to live right here on earth, that we'll receive our reward in heaven. So gospel music is simply promoting the name of Jesus for me. When I'm asked often to sing places, whether it be wedding, funeral, baby shower, birthdays, uh, revivals, just regular church service, whatever it is, I have to keep in mind that this is ministry and that when you sing gospel music, you should sing as though it's your last time because you might be the only Jesus that someone may see. You might be the only light that saves someone else's life. So gospel music to me is simply promoting Jesus. Lord, thank you for all the things that you've done for me. Thank you for all the ways that you've made for me. I give you praise, I give you glory, and I give you honor. Everything you did, Lord, you did it just for me. Just for me. Lord, you did it just for me. 
As a gospel artist, what is it that you want to achieve in the future? What is it? What are some of your plans? What What is it that you would like to see happen for you as a gospel artist in the future? Share that with us. What would I like to achieve in the future? Well, let's see. I would like to be able to continue to sing all over the world. I have actually had a great opportunity to go to um, New York City to be able to sing, to go to Baltimore, Maryland, to sing in a revival there. Um, I just returned from Phoenix, Arizona back in September there for a CMO global um, ministry, a women's uh, ministry where I had to uh, minister there, and also uh, just here in Atlanta, Georgia, just ministering the Word of God, uh, preaching and um, singing. Gospel is needed all over the world. There is never a time I'm in a place and someone don't say, uh, can you sing something or can you sing this or sing that, Uh, even at a birthday party. Um, I'll sing a baby shower, I'll sing a wedding, funerals, uh, church service, wherever I am, grocery store, anywhere I am. It could be a restaurant, it doesn't even matter. I know that in the near future that people are going to need Jesus everywhere that they go. And guess what? They might not come to the church. You might have to uh, uh, go to them. You might not always minister to everybody in the same setting. So for me, it's simply uh, knowing that God's people are everywhere and that in the near future, I want to be able to reach the lost uh, so that they can say that they found Jesus. I want to be able to sing all over the world and minister and let them know that, you know what, hey, don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on your life because there is a promise that you have in Christ Jesus that when you live right, I'm not talking about in front of just the people, but in your personal space, when you live right, you will receive um, the, the riches of the Lord. So that's why not only do I live for Christ, sing gospel music, but I know that in the future, there's going to be a greater connection. And you know what? 
I am in a place of waiting. I believe that God is in this season um, connecting me to people that not only are singing about gospel music, but are living what they sing about. So I want to be able to be a part of what's taking place in this new time and new um, age in this uh this new arena called uh, the gospel industry. So that's why I am in a place of ready and waiting to achieve the goals that I know that God has promised me. What a beautiful show today. Trust me, I feel blessed listening to the music of Pastor Shea and uh, even her words, blessing my soul indeed. Let's pause for my word for today. And my word for today is find your purpose. Do not just exist, but seek to find your purpose. And I guarantee you, after finding your purpose, 
you will find that you will be living a more fulfilling life. That's right. Seek out what your purpose is. It might be linked to your talent. Um, it might be linked to something that you do naturally well. But I'm telling you, as soon as you find that purpose for you and you start to live that purpose, you will be living a more fulfilling life. That's the challenge. And uh, that's the word for today. Find your purpose, live your purpose, and find that after you do so your life will feel more fulfilling. That's the word coming from Peter Mac today. More inside a Peter Mac experience. Hey listeners, this is Callum Bornellis with Nationwide Insurance Company, the Bornellis Insurance Agency. Please visit us for your auto, home, and commercial insurance needs if you're in the Georgia area. Our address is 8200 Mall Parkway, Unit 180, Lothonia, Georgia, 30038. We're located across the street from Stonecrest Mall in the Panera Bread Shopping Center. You can also give us a call at 678-224-5343. Again, that's 678-224-5343. Do you have a favorite gospel song that ministers to you in a special way? Uh, be it your song or a song done by somebody else? Is there a special song that uh, whenever you hear it, it ministers to you in a special way? Tell me about that song, if such a song exists. Oh my goodness, this is such a hard question as a gospel artist. Because um, I love so many songs, but... I have a few favorites. My 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 favorite song is Because He Lives, I Can Face Tomorrow. That lets me know that at 12 o'clock midnight, whatever I'm facing, tomorrow I can face it because Jesus lives. Oh, my goodness. that I can't get started on that. Let me continue. So my number one favorite is the song that God gave me, which is Yes, I Made It. Um, the song simply says, I made it through the, the trial, the tribulation, the heartache, the pain, everything that I was facing. The devil thought he was going to get his best shot by throwing things at me and that I was going to give up. But guess what? I hung in there and I made it through every situation, even when the doctor said no, God still said yes. Okay, well, let's go deeper inside your testimony. Let's, let's, let's learn some more about you. Oh, my goodness. You know what? There is another great testimony. My mother was divinely healed of cancer. Uh, no chemo, no medication. God just divinely healed her. See, that's why I can sing about, yes, I made it through. I've seen the personal experience. I have experienced sickness through my mother. She made it through. Guess what? If you're facing a sickness today, you can make it through. There is healing for you. I don't care if it's sickness in your mind mentally. He is a mind regulator. The song says it. He is a mind regulator. He is a bridge over troubled water. He is a keeper. Everything that you're facing, God is able to deliver you from and out of. Another great testimony, and now my mother is um, preaching all over the world. She's my apostle of Christ Cares Ministries here in Forest Park, Georgia. And guess what? Her and my father and myself are working together as a team. She's the apostle. My father is the pastor, and I'm the assistant pastor. God delivered him from drugs and alcohol. Now he is 19 years clean free whom the sun set free is free indeed you cannot tell me what my god will not and cannot do if you want it all you got to do is ask him for it if you want to be free he will free you you got to put your hand in the master's hand and let him take control of your life it may seem like your life is in a wind a whirlwind and you don't know which way to go and you cannot uh, figure out how you're going to make it out of the situation that you're facing in this very hour. But guess what? You can make it. You can conquer anything. I found out something recently that a teacher never talks during a test when the test is being taken. You know why? Because the material has already been given to us to study. Well, what is the material? The material is simply the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. God has given us an answer for everything that we face in life. So when I'm through with my test, I'm able to find out if I pass the test or if I fail the test. And the reason I know that I passed it is because, guess what, I'm still here to talk about it. I'm a survivor. I'm still here to tell about it. So with that being said, if I can pass the test and I have the material to study with, guess what? So do you. It's a simple word to help you get through what you're facing. 
You can make it through every trial. You know why? Because Jesus is still yet alive. So guess what? Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you can make it. Another thing I wanted to say is I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. God is still healing me. I have not given up on me. So guess what? I can make it. You can make it. Mm -mm -mm. I feel the presence of the Lord just testifying about how great he has been to me, how awesome he is to me, how wonderful he is in this very present. He is so awesome. You can make it. You have hope in a dying situation. I come against the spirit of suicide right now in the name of Jesus. There is nothing too hard for God. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. That's it for the Peter Mac experience today. My special guest being Pastor Shea. And trust me, I was blessed and I'm sure you were blessed too. Just getting to know more about Pastor Shea and listening to her four songs. Let me give you some more information just in case you're interested in uh, booking Pastor Shea Cross. You can get her via email at Ministries at gmail.com that's pastor sha ministries at gmail.com or you can call her at 678-913-9496 once again 678-913-9496 or 678-900-9928 that's 678-900 9928 and when you call or email be sure to request her new hit single yes i made it beautiful song indeed of course you know pastor shea is a member of the christ cares ministries which is located at 4815 courtney drive in forest park georgia that's right be sure to request her new hit single yes i made it when you make contact with Pastor Shea's manager. Hey, thank you for listening today. Thank you, Pastor Shea, for being a part of the Peter Mac experience. Keep on listening. Keep on spreading the word about the Peter Mac experience as I seek out new and innovative talent, people that will teach us and encourage us and bless us each and every experience. I want to thank you for loving the experience. Thank you for tuning in. Stay strong. And remember, whatever you do, Live, love, love. Until next time, this is Peter Max saying, you take care and bye-bye.